Welcome to week 6 of uh, Gen AI for IT Professionals and in this week we will be comparing the free version of ChatGPT with the paid version. So when you look at the paid version there is something called the plus version that's basically what most of the people will be using. So I just thought we will have a quick comparison and probably give you a justification as to why somebody might have to go for the paid version and also have a look at like what are the advantages of using the free version. Now time to time OpenAI, OpenAI keeps on changing these uh, features which are available in free version and paid version. So I'm just going to compare the differences uh, as of now at the time of this recording and I would request you to look at the official documentation of OpenAPI and, and compare the differences whenever you feel because every now and then there'll be changes that keeps on adding. So let's dive in. All right, so let's compare the free and paid versions of ChatGPT and let's break it down. What are the different aspects? So the first thing you need to understand is the free version is absolutely free and then you have something called plus version and that is pretty popular and the plus version is $20 per month. You also have a pro version which is like $200 per month but that's not like everybody will go for a pro version. So the most common paid version of ChatGPT is this plus version. So if you look at the pricing, it is $20 per month. And I think that is something that you need to understand. And now let's see whether this $20 is something that you can justify or whether you really should go for a paid version or not. So the first thing, like I said, is the pricing, right? What next? So if you look at the next option, it is the models that we have. So um, if you look at the free version and paid version of ChatGPT, they support different models. To give you an idea, so here I have the paid version of ChatGPT and here I have the free version of ChatGPT. And in the free version, you can see that we just get ChatGPT, that's it. And this is nothing but ChatGPT 4.0 that we are going to get. And we also get access to 4.0 mini right and when you go to the paid version of ChatGPT, you can see that you have gpt 40 you also have gpt 40 with scheduled tasks you have o1 and o1 mini now this is really interesting o1 is a model which we can use for advanced reasoning what that means is that it can think and solve complex problems. Uh, let me give you an idea about this model. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to run a real quick query. <laughs> I just copy paste from here and I'm, I'm first going to use the free version. So the question is, can you create a troubleshooting guide for connection issues between MySQL running on-prem and Windows Server 2019 running in AWS cloud? The moment I hit enter, since this is a free version, it immediately picks up the answer. It doesn't think, it doesn't reason. So there is no reasoning or anything. We get a guide. Now, if I go for the paid version, so to speak, and if I'm using the O1 model, which uses the advanced reasoning, if I hit enter, you can see that it is thinking. So it thinks, it reasons, it revisit the steps and then give you the output, which is much more refined and, and much more precise. So you can see that it, it has generated the output. And if you compare them, for example, this is a free version. Uh, it basically says like the common cause of issues are this and you just have to ping and tell net and etc. etc. But if you go here, uh, you know, the uh, paid version. So this is a paid version. It basically starts with IP address and DNS resolution and the uh, ping output is much more refined and you have more steps because it has it has thought through all these things. So O1 is a model that uses advanced reasoning and this is available uh, only in the paid version. So one huge difference is the access to the models that you have in the free and paid version. Okay, so now the next thing that we have to talk about is nothing but limits, right? So when you talk about the limits, uh, if you look at the free version of ChatGPT, and obviously you might have seen this if you have experimented with ChatGPT, if there is a lot of demand, lot of workload, then your queries or prompts may not be processed. 
chat gpt is going to come back to you and say that hey you have to wait i'm experiencing a lot of load so there is no guarantee that it is available all the time there is a limit but if you go for the paid version then that particular limit is not there of course it depends on the model for example in the paid version if you are using the gpt 4o then there is absolutely no limit but if you are using the o1 that uses advanced reasoning again there is a limit it's not like always available sometimes if you have too many queries then after a certain time it will tell you that uh, we have reset your limit and you have you can come back after a couple of days but there is limit and also in chat gpt you can do this file uploads and analysis and i'll show you a demo for this you can upload files from google drive or your computer and it can quickly analyze and when you look at the free version of chat gpt there is a limited availability of file uploads and analysis but if you come to the paid version of chat gpt that limit is further extended a lot and the next interesting thing is this advanced voice mode which is available only in the paid version at the time of this recording so what is this advanced voice mode you can definitely talk to chat gpt but with the paid version you get this advanced voice mode where it can pick up non verbal cues uh, it can understand group conversations it can handle interruptions it can understand your emotional tone and respond accordingly so let's try to do a small demo of advanced voice mode right so i have this uh, uh, paid version here and let me click use voice mode hey chat gpt sma sequat is a mandanist masoi strength in industry this it's a set and rain to nine you need to boy for hey can you speak in english Of course, let me know if you need any further clarifications or additional help with your MySQL connection issues. Happy to assist. Okay, so I'm done with the MySQL connection issue and I was able to troubleshoot it really good. I'm super excited because I'm going to get started with a new project. Yay. That's awesome. I'm glad you nailed the MySQL troubleshooting. What's the new project about? Sounds like you're really excited about it. See? So basically that's the advanced voice mode. I mean, it was picking up from where we left actually. That's the MySQL connection issue and it it was using a different language. So I switched the language to English and then I said I'm really excited. So it picked up the cue it picked up the cue and it basically told me like awesome and let's talk about the new project and all. So I mean you can further experiment with the advanced voice mode I just thought I will do a small demo on this and the next one is talking about early access so definitely if you are using the paid version you get early access to all the experimental features which will be available to everybody very soon a classic example for this is in the ChatGPT desktop app we have this feature called works with where chatgpt can look at the screen of let's say a coding ide or your terminal and start working with it so this is in beta right now and this is available only for the uh, paid users so obviously you will get uh, uh, you will get to experiment with new features that's another difference and then you have this option of custom gpts and projects so custom gpts and projects as of now are part of uh, you know the paid version and we will have an upcoming session where i will be explaining in depth as to what it is but just to give you an idea uh, if you look at the uh, paid version of chat gpt and you can see here uh, for example you have this project so i can create a new project and i can call it you know uh, whatever i want and i can keep all my chats and files and instructions with respect to this project and this is available only in the uh, you know paid version and there is this option to create your own custom version of chat gpt which again you know will be exploring later uh, but that feature is also available only in the paid version so you can see here i am on the screen and there is a create button i can click on this create and with certain instructions i can create my own custom version of chat gpt specifically designed to perform certain task so this is also available in the 
paid version as of now. So let's have a look at what we discussed. So pricing, obviously it is $20. Models, advanced reasoning is available only in the paid version. Limits, of course, you get more limits when you're using the paid version. And you have this advanced voice mod projects and then custom GPT and you get early access. So this is, I mean, considering these options, you can justify whether you should switch to the paid version of ChatGPT or not. All right, so that was a quick comparison between the free and paid versions of ChatGPT. I really hope you like this video. So in case if you like this video, then consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, the ITVersity YouTube channel, and also like the video, share it with your friends, and pour in your comments in the comments section. And in case if you have seen this video for the very first time, I mean, if you have not seen the other videos in this playlist, then I will give you the playlist link in the description. Do check out all our videos related to generative AI for IT professionals and share it with your friends so that they will also get benefited. I'll see you next week with another video on generative AI for IT professionals. This is Raghu signing off. Thank you.